this is the correct scale now for this note. Now, as you can see, the text is showing so tiny over here. And this is where you need to learn another important concept, which is about scale factors. So we can figure out the the perfect size for your text and dimensions and liters that we'll talk about uh, in in a few minutes so let me show you what you're gonna need is a scale factor chart like this and this is basically um, a drawing a scale uh, this is for architectural and this is for civil and these are scale factors that are based on the architectural scale but we first need to go here in AutoCAD and let's go to paper space right on the layout here click and what we need to do is um, understand how AutoCAD can fit such a big building right because in reality this building is so big you can see the height is 9 feet 28 feet how can AutoCAD fit this big building on such a big uh, such a small piece of paper this is remember we went right click and page setup and we saw that this is 24 by 36 inches paper so the way they do it is using viewports and viewport when you create a when you use a template AutoCAD already give you a viewport which is this one over here if you select on it it's a viewport that right now is locked but I can unlock it by clicking here and the scale for this viewport is one quarter if you click on this scale you can change the scale let's say let's change it to one eighth as you can see it's one eighth and this scale factor is the one that I show you on the chart remember so that's one quarter that we're saying and that's the factor 48 so but let me first remove this viewport so I can show you how you can create it if, if for some reason AutoCAD doesn't give it to you automatically so I'm going to remove that viewport using the delete uh, key on my keyboard and to create a viewport you will need the shortcut MB and press enter then you can click a point over here it says specify corner of viewport so I'm gonna pick let's say over here once and then my command line says specify opposite corner so I'll click here like so as you can see uh, my building is showing now from model space so but I need to select my viewport and pick a correct scale so I'm gonna try one quarter that looks about right uh, let me try maybe a little something bigger no that looks that looks right to me so finally to move or place your model or building better in your viewport you can double click inside your viewport with your left uh, left left side of your mouse so double click and then you can pan the way that I show you before holding the middle mouse wheel so holding it you can move your building like so I'll place it here and then to get out simply double click outside the viewport and then again just to double check select your viewport I know it's in one quarter scale so knowing that we can change the text size accordingly so let's go back to the chart that I showed you earlier 
Now that we know that our paper space it's using a viewport with one quarter, right? One quarter scale. We gotta go here on the standard text and if we go down we can see that at one quarter the text size is gonna be six inches and again this is for imperials right but if you were using the metric units um, it's the same idea but you'll have uh, this metric unit chart but since we're using imperial I'm gonna show you with imperial but it's the same method and idea so six inches we'll say we said that is the height of our standard text for one quarter so let's go back to model space and let's select our text tiny tiny text and let me introduce you the property palette this is another concept that you need to know and the property palette you can access it by typing a shortcut PR and pressing enter once you do that you, with your text still selected you see that the property palette basically is the way to control settings of each specific object that you select so if we select our text we can go scroll down with our mouse wheel and if we go here on the text there is a height option so let's click on it and we said that is six inches right for a one quarter um, scale so I'll type six inches and press enter as you can see our text are bigger and we can close the property palette this is the correct scale now for this note 